What is going on, guys? We're back with another episode today. I just want to talk to you a little bit about this free play-to-earn game. It's called Gods Unchained. I wanted to take you through and kind of show you how it works, show you how to play a match on Gods Unchained. It is a free-to-play, play-to-earn crypto game on the Immutable X blockchain, which is a layer two of Ethereum. It's a pretty neat little game, so we're just going to get jump right into it and go ahead and try to play a match. Now, I already have my decks built and loaded up, so all I had to do was just go in and hit play, and it's going to try to find us an opponent here. Now, on the weekends, they do bonus prizes for obtaining a certain amount of wins in a certain amount of games. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if you win 15 out of your first 25 games, you get a pretty nice bonus of the God's Token, which is trading around $3.85 per token, I believe. So we're just going to go in here and we are going to play a match. Now, when you start out, you only get one mana per turn. Anybody who has played any of your basic trading card games, like Magic the Gathering, this game's going to feel real familiar. Now, down here in the bottom, you have an extra mana that you get three of if you play second, and you only get one extra mana if you play first. It's a little thing they do to try to boost the odds to even out whoever doesn't get to go on the first turn. But for most of you guys, this is going to feel really familiar. I know a lot of us in our generation grew up playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Hearthstone, plethora of other trading card turn-based games. So after you play your card, you just click the turn indicator and that lets the next person go. They play their card, they click their turn indicator, and then you go. So each player starts out with their gods, has 30 health. And then you just kind of slug it out from there. Now, each different card has different effects and everything. So it is pretty familiar feeling. Now, when you first play a creature on the first turn that you play them, you can't attack with that creature unless it has Blitz or the God Blitz effects. This little symbol right here means that this card has what's called a deadly effect, so any creature that does damage against it yeah, any, da any creature taking damage from a card with Deadly is destroyed. This w over here around this guy means front line. It means he has to be attacked before anything else. So you can't attack any other creatures until he's off of the field.
So let's see, what do we want to do here? I think we will take this guy and go ahead and kill his guy with, of course, after we attack the guy with front line, we can go ahead and kill this guy. And then we will take him out as well and clear the field. Now, in the personal way that I play, when you start getting up around four, five, six mana, that's when things start getting fun. The first few turns, it just takes up a little time to build up that mana pool to where you actually have enough mana to play decent cards. So, see, what I will do now is go ahead and throw those out there. And I'm going to go ahead and give Blitz to this one. And that gives it Blitz plus one strength. So now I will take him and go ahead and hit his guy and end my turn. So that's a pretty fun little game. Like I say, it's very reminiscent of Hearthstone, Magic the Gathering, and that style of turn-based trading card game format. But the interesting aspect about it is the free-to-play and play-to-earn. We all know that that is where the future is going in gaming. That is going to be a massive industry over the coming years and even decades. The creation of esports and going away anytime soon. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this guy and do some damage to his front line. Now after I've attacked his creature with front line, this creature because he has the flank ability, can bypass his frontline creature, and I can attack his god directly. So like I say, there's a lot of different cards that you'll have to get used to and learn the special effects of each one. And in this particular game, there are, I believe, five or six different gods that you play as, and each god has their own set of attributes and their own set of cards that work best for them. So it is a skill-based game. It does take a little bit of knowledge and skill to get the hang of and to start playing effectively. So this card deals three damage. I want to go ahead and take out his wall there, or one of his walls anyway. Now we're going to go ahead and take two more damage off of him. And I believe we use that ramshackle hatchet to go ahead and attack him. Now this little pair of scissors down here means twin strike. It means he can attack twice. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack his god once. And then we're going to attack one of his creatures once. Then because we want to even out the health as much as we can, we'll go ahead and attack him again. Now, this little circle over here, you've seen me use this for once or twice. This is your god special ability. So anytime you have an extra two mana... In this particular instance, at the beginning of each game, each god has a choice of three abilities that you can choose from. I really like this Slayer ability because it deals two damage to the opponent's god. It's a real quick little two-point ding off of them. It makes it really easy to kind of burn them down a little bit. As you can see, guys, I lost that game. That happens quite often. 
One, because I'm not very good. Two, I haven't put in the hours of study I need to learn the cards to build an effective deck. And I would blame it on you guys for trying to talk to you throughout the video, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say that I did not do it successfully. So guys, that is a little selection of Gods Unchained. Uh, I will take you in real quick and show you their store here real fast. And you can see that there's different cards. And all these sell for different amounts of ETH based on their rarity and how much people are willing to pay for them. But you get these cards and these packs just by winning. You don't have to go in and buy these. That's the great thing about it. It's free to play and play to earn. So you can go in and play the game, unlock the packs, and sell off the cards that you don't need to gain a little bit of extra income. It's a really neat way to make a little extra money. But anyway, guys, that was fun. And I'm going to put a little more time into this game and try to see if I can get a little better at it because we know it wasn't very good. Anyway, you guys, make sure you smash the like button, hit subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of this game here in the comments below. And uh, yeah, y'all have a wonderful afternoon. We'll talk to you guys later.